All right, it's the rundown. It's brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Have you heard of it? The official beer, official vodka of Barstool Sports, official vodka of Chicklets, of the NHL. We got Pink Whitney. We got the regular old good fashioned five times distilled, nice and smooth vodka. Whether you're looking to uh, make some cocktails or do shots of vodka like this guy does, the king of vodka shots. <laughs> Feidelberg. They're much smoother than you think. You ever go to a bar in Feidelberg and it's like, you know, what are you drinking? Mm. You want to have a beer? You want some wine? You want a cocktail? Yeah, you can do all that. But then he's also throwing a shot of vodka in. It's it's the most underrated shot there is. It goes down mm-hmm. smooth every single especially time. New especially Amsterdam. New Amsterdam. Especially New They really do have that, like, it's affordable yet still smooth. Uh, and right now, throughout this summer, they, we've been selling that limited edition Barstool Sports New Amsterdam collab bottle. So go get that. That's a That's a piece of history. That's like a that's like a relic. You could like sell that one day like a collectible, man. So uh, check it out. New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. Dugsy back in that seat for the first time since uh, our three chi day. I didn't want to interrupt, but can I please have some water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I first came in, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty upset that these peanuts weren't salted. And then I now? ate like three, and I'm like, oh, thank God, these aren't salted. <laughs> yeah. When uh, Dugsy had a nice little nap for like 12 hours. <laughs> it, was, it was real nice. <laughs> Like, what was. time did you get up from that? I it wasn't that, man. I, I, don't know, <laughs> right? I just, I remember. You, you I did make it home that night. I did. Well, I was, so I was staying just down the block. I walked what I thought was about a block, and I panicked because I didn't, re, I didn't recognize where I was, and I thought I got lost in you. Like I thought I pulled up <laughs> the white sock but that was just like literally two blocks. Like, I was like two, like two buildings down from the hotel. It, so it, I, it worked. I out. was walking out of here. So Doug, he did a live KFC radio show. We were sponsored by. Uh, 3G, which is like a THC product, and he was, you were out on that, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, do you wake the guy up in that case, or do you let sleeping dogs lie? Dude, I was the same way, because I was, I was probably just about, maybe a little less, uh, zoomed than Dugsy, yeah. and I sat there for a while, and eventually I got up, and I was the last to leave, and I didn't know what to do. Right. I, I, did, so I took peaceful. a picture, and I didn't tweet pictures, because I think tweeting pictures of people who are asleep is bullshit. Yeah, I had the same thing. I got, <laughs> I have one in my, if I look hard enough, I'll find one in my camera roll. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're glad you're back, Dugsy. Uh, so we start off with this fucking asshole on the plane who uh, ended up getting strapped into his seat. You guys fucking suck! My parents... I mean, this guy is such a cliche dickhead. It almost makes you feel like it's scripted the way he's like, my parents are worth two million dollars. My grandfather's. Worth. Where, where are you from? You're bragging about with two million dollars. I was kind of thinking you, that. I'm like, oh, so you from? You from? Your parents are like barely <laughs> like, middle class. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, don't get me wrong. I'm not worth two million dollars, but I wouldn't brag about no. anyone being worth two million dollars. I mean, like, I mean they were on like Spirit Airlines, which Frontier, maybe, Frontier. Frontier. So that, yeah. that is baller status. But you know, two million dollars in the year 2021 gets you like a loaf of bread and some milk. Like, give me a fucking <laughs> break. But what I did like about this guy, the very beginning of the video. You people all suck. <laughs> you guys fucking suck. <laughs> like, that is just such a broad. Like if the video, like, if the video nope. ended there, you'd be like, yeah, what's well, yeah. that was a problem. <laughs> you people suck. This don't get me wrong. This kid's the biggest piece of shit in the world, totally. and he sucks and all that. And so they but ended did, up. Uh, they duct taped him to a seat, duct taped his did mouth. Did you like, like that's kind of fucked up? Oh, oh they're, like, they're, they're, he's suing, yeah. and like they're like, already in trouble. People, yeah. I saw they got suspended. And people were like, why would flight attendants get suspended? And I saw the, do I saw the video, and I was like, that's a little much. Dude, like, you can't like. That's the like the mouth uh, part was the, the mouth part. Like, Restrain, restrain him so he can't physically and, and, hurt Because he was, he was, he did throw a punch at yeah, the right. yeah. And so I understand that, like, you got to do what you got to do there because if he's going to be violent, like, you're in trouble. But, like, that's some, some like, inhumane like, you, restraining, like, you know? They got to have handcuffs or something. Like, the, or, like, the, the, when, and the whole plane is laughing. I know. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I know. Video tape, like, as he's yep. duct taping, like, multiple people are just filming. <laughs> him. Laughing like And then he got the mouth off. Tantrum. Did he? And then, and, but then they fucking went back, back. and did it again. And yeah. I was like, I don't know, I man. mean, like, like, this kid's got to breathe. <laughs> yeah. What if he has to pee? What if he has to yeah. scratch? We got an itch? <laughs> right. You're just sitting there tortured for the whole fucking ride? The, I don't, it that. wasn't. That's his head. He can't even look left or right if he wanted to. It's like in, in, uh, in Sunny. When they when uh, yeah, yeah. The, when the Wade Boggs when Frank yes. doses the the frat boys beer because they want to make sure they have as many beers and he's, he what's he say he needs he's like I'm Doctor Man's a bog in order to say this kid I'm gonna roll a duct tape and four beers <laughs> I, 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 yeah they they did say that they you know uh, unfortunately they broke protocol so they are like being investigated 
Uh, but then they took that down, and Frontier was like, we stand by our... Because I think people were like, fuck. The, you know, I don't you, think the it was union. just it was the union. It, it was the union yeah. came out because they got suspended. Well, they got suspended because of the duct tape and the mouth. They, right. there are, because there is, there is a proper protocol. They didn't get suspended right. for duct taping. They got suspended because they went off protocol. Or whatever. Inducting us right. in the protocol? No, that's I what I'm saying. That's what, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, the there's, there's, a, there's a certain system they have in place to restrain someone. Because yeah. they have to have it in place. I have right. seen, and that's um, not it. But I have seen other people get duct taped. People who have had, like, really... Cr- that guy's just, like, probably being a drunk asshole. There were people who had, like, a psychotic event that yeah, I've yeah. seen that get... And they just yeah. get taped down. That, the tape, the, even the tape it down, like the tape it down, I'm fine with. The, yeah. And I'm, to be honest, I'm fine with it all. But it just <laughs> like it looked a little fucked up to yeah, watch yeah, the yeah. kids the like mouth, mouth, the mouth part is what really bothered me. Uh, yeah, the mouth is a little scary, but also then shut it. You know, and they shut your <laughs> yeah. fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Can you don't play? Me, do we have what, audio they, on this or no? If that they first, you got you people suck. It just cracks me up. You guys fucking suck. You guys, <laughs> you guys fucking suck. <laughs> the, and like, I guess he's traveling alone, but like, not one friend or somebody to be like, yo, bro, come on, stop. The I, the if they had gone yeah, with the yeah, duct tape right. over the head, like uh, like an old timey tooth, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whatever, yep, and yep. shut it like that, I'd be okay. Yeah, at least I'd be can, completely fine with that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like I said, I'm pretty fine with this, but. I also the like visual is a little like who that matters yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So if, if you had like six hours in the air with that, you know, if they were on the descent, I don't know, whatever. If I yeah. if you duct tape me to a chair, I'd piss myself immediately. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, okay. that's for you sure. You want to do this? I'm taking a shit. <laughs> yeah. I'll be sitting there like because I can do it better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to have an asshole off? I'll win. I would just quietly be like, okay, fine, we're doing this, and then like 15 minutes later, everyone's like, <laughs> and you're just sitting there smiling. They can't even tell because the duct tape's covering your mouth. Like, that's right. I shit myself in 23. F motherfucker. <laughs> I, just, I, my, I mean, my main outlook is he's got a couple extra seats next to him. Like, I might want to start looking at Frontier. No free ads. I'm <laughs> just saying. When I fly the other ones, all I, the fucking the yeah. flashes like, it turned, out. Turned that, into a, that, that also must be a pretty cool feeling. Because when you're in the air, it is... 1v1v1v1v1 one v one v one v one yeah. everyone's mm-hmm. everyone's on their own mm-hmm. but something like this it brings a flight together oh yeah where you're like all yeah. right we got one yeah, common this enemy. some let's roll shit it's, it's <laughs> some, some 1980s herb brooks like i'm gonna be the dickhead yeah. and I'm, everyone's gonna rally around hating me yeah, yeah. that flight yeah, like there, you were having a, a, a armchair battle an armrest battle with the guy and like and this happened you're like it's all good bro yeah. you, you know up. the we're flight attendants now. they started running down the aisles just tossing out nips yeah, this yeah. place went fucking <laughs> crazy after yeah, this I'm just yeah. saying if I was on the plane it wouldn't have gone down like that <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright Matt Damon is in hot water this week uh, for offering up this story for no good reason <laughs> totally shooting himself in the foot he told the story of how a few months ago he was at the dinner table he dropped <laughs> the F word uh, and said and his daughter was like, what the fuck, Dad? She got very offended. She's a little girl. Yeah, it wasn't that F word. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was the, it was the homophobic slur F word. And Matt Damon tried to say, oh, honey, that was a joke. It was from my movie Stuck on You in 2003. And Matt Damon's out here quoting Stuck on You. <laughs> you know, we need to raise the bar, bro. Um, but then she wrote a long letter saying to, to her dad. He described it as a treatise. treatise. He said he said a, a long, beautiful treatise <laughs> that she came back and presented it to him. And uh, and then he said, okay, honey, I understand it. I retire the F word. I'll never say it again. Now people are like, oh, so you were saying it like a couple months ago and you needed like your small daughter to stop you. Um, he then tried to come back and say, then he issued an apology and said, I don't use it in my personal life. But it's like you literally just told a story about you using it in your personal life. Yeah. That I go back and forth with this. That's one your cause. personal life, dude. But, but, it, but table, he's telling a quote from a like. Do you know what the quote was? No, I don't. So this is the thing. I, I looked up the script of Stuck on You, okay. uh, Stuck on Me, whatever it's called. That's the worst movie to ever exist. Yeah. Right? It, I always saw it once, like when it you first came out. It. It. I, it was it was it's a Ferrelli Brothers movie. Like it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was what it was. It so was fine. The, the the quote is they're at a at least what I saw. I control left it and searched it. The only thing that popped up was there. Oh, at, so you typed it. <laughs> See, I'm making fun of Matt Damon for fucking shooting himself in the foot. Here I am. Yeah, need to go write KFC a letter. <laughs> Somebody should never type that word. So the uh, the scene is they're, they're at a karaoke bar and someone's singing, presumably like Cher or something rather effeminate, and they just go "you f word." That was it. So I don't know what the quote was. <laughs> you know, His daughter said she likes Cher. He's like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. Like, it, you know, I was saying, well, I, I think the funniest quote 
unfortunately, using that word is an old school. Like, uh, my, my seatbelt doesn't work. What do, you re- what do you recommend I do? If you quote that, you can't do that anymore, but when people used to quote that, that was funny. You can't just quote UF word. Yeah. So I don't know what he, what card he was trying to play there. And I, I, also, I just watched Due Date the other night. and, uh, and uh, movie. Really underrated. Very that's, funny. That's and it just, it was just on Netflix, right? and I yeah. kind of just popped it on. Yep. And uh, Danny McBride drops a hard one. I forgot how like pretty it's commonplace brutal, it, it was. was out there. Yeah. And that's kind of what Matt Damon... So the whole article was about how he said... He also got in hot water for a Me Too comment that was not bad, but people skewed it wrong. And he was like, I am... He's willing to admit these things. He's willing to tell the story of when he looked like an asshole and changed... Which is a good thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand the intricacies of why they're mad, but it is funny to be like, the story's about how I don't say this word anymore, and I'm in trouble for it. Yeah. Yeah. I really fucking can't win. I think in this same article, you tell the story about his daughter. She might be the funniest person alive. She <laughs> how refused... old is she, by the way? Do you know? I don't know the answer to that. I, I was going to say 15, 16. 15? Oh, okay. I think she's a little I, younger, I, but I don't know. And uh, If you could write a treatise, though, maybe you're 15. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't in crayon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, but... She, she was telling a story how she refuses to watch his good movies just so she can make fun of him because she's like, like they were like oh what do you think about Good Hunting he's like she's never seen never that seen she it. just watches my bad movies and say I suck <laughs> like that's fucking hilarious Matt Damon <laughs> as, so as far funny. as she's concerned he's only in that, that movie where he got super super shrunken what's yeah. that movie called? Oh, uh, Downsizing? Yeah. Downsizing probably, sucked right? Probably, probably, probably we bought a zoo yeah, yeah. The movie, that, I mean yeah. Stuck on You is an absolute catastrophe maybe that's why she said she liked it and he you know he called her yeah. the F-slur it runs with but or is it, he has daughters 10, 12, and 15, and they don't know which one said it. Okay. Mm. Hey, I mean, I've, I've never, I, and th- maybe this is a generational thing, I never had a discussion where I was like, I'm going to go write a letter in response to that. <laughs> no. no. Like, not to, no. Not to a, a familial person. No. no. If you're writing a letter to your parents, you're a dick. Yeah, I don't want to get hit. You know what you want to I walked down, see, a letter. My mom's hit me with a wooden spoon yeah. fast. <laughs> Give me a break. Um... The, the, the thing that was fucked up was like TMZ ran a headline that said, "Glad demands Matt Damon take accountable for use of the homophobic slur." It's like we're we're really twisting this. Now. Which which it's not like he, he was did. using the, the yeah. like at someone or hateful. It was like he was talking about how he once said it and doesn't say it. That's yeah. not. But admitting he, not isn't Papa that taking accountability, offering that yeah. story up unprompted, and, and which I would never do, but and said like I stand with you. <laughs> We've and listen, you know what kind of guy Matt Damon is. You know what I mean? He's he was openly like an anti-Trump guy, very progressive. If it was like, I don't know, someone who was stereotypically leans the other way, and you were like, maybe this guy does say it, but it's like, come on, come on. Enough, yeah, I have enough. a hard time believing. Uh, look, when Matt Damon was growing up in I think Charlestown, wherever it was, Cambridge, 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 where he was born at least. I'm, I'm sure it was very heavily and used. That's what he and, said. and like yeah. when, when I grew up, I was heavily used. He like, said it was like I heard it walking down the street. Yeah. All the time. But I would I have a hard time believing he was regularly using it over the last ten years. Right, right, yeah. right. The same thing so, happened, you remember the same thing happened with similar thing happened with Liam Neeson a couple of years ago where he talked about how but the whole the whole story was about how he like would walk out of a bar and like was looking for a person of color to like fight. Yeah, that, that one was that's that a little was, different. That one was a lot. Was, he was talking about how it he was wasn't to fight; it was to murder. To murder. He oh, was okay. bringing, yeah, okay, okay. He was bringing a, a, it was, it was, a hurling stick. I think yeah. he was carrying yeah. a hurling stick. Yeah, he was he he <laughs> that story, man. That story yeah. was, his, another his, one. Why'd you offer that up? A family friend of his had been raped, and he was looking for like retaliation, and said he was looking to murder someone. But the, the, that whole, was crazy. Yeah. but the whole story was like how he was talking about how ridiculous it was yes. and how stupid it was. He was putting was. himself down. And he was putting himself out yeah. there to say, yeah. like, th- I, I had these stupid thoughts, which is what you need to do. Yeah. You need to tell people, yeah. like, I also used to think this way. Right. Like, yeah. like, now, that was an extreme. Yeah. But in this case, I think there's a lot more people out there like Matt Damon who are like, I, yeah, I used to hear it a lot. And, yeah, my kids, like, do get a little weird when I say it. So maybe I should stop, too. Yeah. Probably a good thing. But... Either way, like I'm sure his publicist was like, "Why the <laughs> fuck did you yeah. do this, dude? Just talk about the new movie and go away." Yeah. In, in I believe the same interview, he also had a pretty interesting quote where he said that he, I believe he ended it with, "Maybe I should just shut the fuck up more," which mm-hmm. he's probably he's learning, really thinking now. That's what's ironic is he was like <laughs> in the middle of the interview saying, "My lesson, I need to learn to stop talking." And by the way, one time I used to say, <laughs> but he had a quote where he said that back in the day during interviews, the interviewer or the people listen to the music of an interview more rather than the lyrics mm-hmm. where I think he meant the overall message rather than like exactly what was said and he's like now nah, my words are so parsed that they pick out anything just to make a headline you got a couple out of this one mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> at yeah. least out of this press story that, that was, was the like same interview, but... life or whatever fucking mm-hmm. phrase you want to yeah. use there uh, second half of the rundown nope 
still on New Amsterdam, uh, Purdue University uh, is going viral right now. They accepted too many of their freshman applicants, probably expecting, you know, 10%, 15% to say no. Uh, they all ended up saying yes. And so now they are, by the way, this happened in 2018 too, so this is like not the first time. So now they don't have enough dorm rooms, so they are cramming kids into like a common room lounge or libraries or open spaces. So you don't even have a room, you just have a cubicle. So there's just rows of beds and bunk beds like you're in a fucking orphanage, like you're in some sort of army barracks. Uh, and I mean, this is just like, how many more things do we need to know that college is the biggest fucking scam of all time? Like they did it with COVID when they were like, uh, we'll take all your money and you can't come. And now they're like, well, we'll take all your money and you all can come, but you're gonna be living on top of each other. Look at this. This, this, I'm, I'm a little, little woke on. I think that they do it on like, purpose now. Oh yeah. Because they know you're like once you're at college, you're not gonna be like, fuck it, I'm going home, I'm not coming to college. Yeah. So they're like, Wait, well, why, what are they? Why, why are they doing it? Because they're just getting a shitload of extra tuitions. For oh, like for okay. no reason. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, because like, like like you're not gonna. F- I, I would be surprised. This is you horrible. Go- like I mean, oh, I'm not flying here next no. year. You know, because well, well, I don't yeah. want to run the risk of this. It happened 2018. Yeah, I was gonna say. If, I know. If, if that happened at FSU before I went, I'd still go to. FSU. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. All right. The, I mean, I know, there's no way these kids are paying like full price the same way the kids are. I guarantee are in the dorms. they are. I, dude, guarantee they are. College brother. Yeah. They're yeah. Such they're, fucking rats, dude. Take every fucking penny they can. They really are. You think you think they're giving out fucking? They might they might give you a little, little yeah, uh, yeah. couple here, bucks off the free, dining here's hall. Here's a free book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, not even give that. Here's a, here's a coupon for like a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah you get 50 bucks off at the barstool store. What do you think the worst, worst spot... <laughs> That's a good reference. Um, what do you think the worst part is? Like, trying to... Bathrooms. Trying to what bathroom situation? Yeah, uh, those are dorms, always, are, those dorms are always have bathrooms. Communal. The library does not have the same bathroom facilities that a dorm has. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Did they have showers in the That's library? A, yeah. How does that work? I didn't think of that. So this this must have I'm a shower some guy. sort. I'm of, a shower guy. I like yeah. take showers. Yeah. yeah. Me and you both, bro. I mean, <laughs> I I think everybody when you're in college, hopefully you go through the experience of like you bring bring somebody back and your roommates are kind of. One eye open, watching what's going on. So this is just like fifty eyes open. Yeah, I, I, I think, I'm, a, I'm a glass half full guy. You can have a little fun with that. I think, Are you technically in an orgy? Are there are multiple people fucking I was in that wondering room. Wondering that. I don't yeah. think so. I just love the idea of someone going. Shh. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> but I mean, all of it. Like, you got to worry about the, the sex. You got to worry about masturbating. But you also got to worry about like, I want to go to bed, and they they don't. I wake yeah. up at like six a.m. You wake up at ten a.m. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're gonna hate me. Do they have television? I. I Fuck, I don't know. It's a good question because it's gonna maybe like uh, is it hospital? And like, is, ca- is cable even like a thing anymore? No, no people have it on their phone or yeah, Netflix. Yeah, 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 as long yeah. as they have Wi-Fi. Yeah, how do you watch TV in there? That that's the biggest rather than fucking fuck fucking. I want to watch TV. Right. And, and if what, we're all watching TV, that's can hear time, all the TVs. It's like a cacophony of fucking TVs. That's lunacy. And you're walking around like imagine how much shit's gonna get stolen in this too. Like <laughs> imagine you're a fucking wet masturbator. Guess it's becoming dry real fast. Off. Yeah. Imagine you just wait, hear like three wait, cubicles wait, down. Wait, what? Well, wet wet makes a lot more noise. You, you got a little little fish out of water going on. Okay. But if you're a dry you're masturbator, a that's, guy, that's a pretty silent one. You go wet I've, or dry. I've never heard the term before. What, wet or dry? I, no, not in this context. But you understand well, what we're saying, well, I, I right? think now you knew like what the using, words meant. Like, no, I, I, no that, I, was, I was asking because I'm curious as to what you meant, like whether someone was using... Uh, lotion or something? Yeah, or yeah anything. Any, any lubricant was counts I, as I, wet. I, I imagined somebody that wasn't, but was still wet. <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh see, you and went female. My You're so straight, you didn't even think about jerking a dick off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. I love it. Send that clip to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Doug just has puss on the brain at all times. <laughs> uh... Yeah, mm-hmm. but I mean, you're right. Like, it happened in 2018. They probably didn't miss a beat. So, mm-hmm. like, who fucking cares? We'll just herd you rats in there like <laughs> yeah. it's a chicken coop and call yep. it a fucking We'll, we'll fucking hire a professor to come teach you, but he'll never show up. It's just a TA. Yep. But you paid yeah. extra because he's on the fucking pamphlet. Yeah. Yep. Bunch of scumbags. If you go to college, you're an idiot. Seriously. Absolute <laughs> moron. You're paying top dollar for this. Let me tell you college kids something right here, right now. You know what college is and enjoy it. Don't worry about what you should have learned. College is a four-year funeral for your dreams. That's it. Uh, Anna de Armas has a new movie out, or supposed to be out. Netflix is not going to put it out, or not going to, uh, not going to put it on Netflix. I don't think that. I don't know if it doesn't get released at all. 
Do we know? Can you check I would that? imagine they're like trying to sell the rights it? to it. Yeah, they're, yeah. Um, yeah. they got to make they're, money They're not somewhere. putting it on Netflix because they are, quote, absolutely horrified at how sexual this movie was. Bro, which wait. Is the gr- We're talking about the same fucking place that does Sex Life? Come yeah. on, and so are we, are we about, saying it's better than Sex we're Life? We're about the same company that put out Cuties? Yeah, Cuties, right? that's the toddler one, right? Yeah. Like the, the dance, dance, dance yeah. shooters. Yeah, that was like six yeah. year old, three year old, right. or whatever. This just says that Variety reports that Blonde's release date's been pushed to the fall of 2022, but it's safe to assume Netflix will position it for next year's award season. So this. So that's I, that I, I, I was wrong on this. Though. This is the greatest marketing of all time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they are is super exactly. hot. A, a movie about Marilyn Monroe and and Netflix goes. This is too sex. There's yeah, too yeah. much sex in this yeah, in the year 2021. Yeah. I mean, no, sir. No. I, I no. watched. Uh, did you watch White Lotus? No, I still haven't There's seen that. There is a scene in White Lotus. Spoiler alert. Uh, somebody walks in on uh, two dudes. Uh, he's on his knees. Just eating this guy's ass <laughs> on on HBO. I know I know HBO is like premium cable, but that's pretty aggressive for a TV show. On you're burying the lead here in that you see Steve Zahn's cock and balls in the opening like five minutes of the episode. Are you see, serious? You see, and you he, think that was the worst did he way say to that see was a real penis in that he like lifts up his his shaft in his I'll, hands. I'll so you do only it. see the nuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you only see the nuts and the tip of the penis. It's the worst he, possible he, view <laughs> of a penis. He lifts it so it just, <laughs> he just lifts it like an elephant trunk and it just kind of exposes the ball. Elephant trunk, huh? What? <laughs> Steve's not mine. It was a stunt dick, by the way. It was, it was a stunt dick. We confirmed yeah. it with him in an interview. Yeah. Right, right. It was it a stunt dick? Yeah, because he's showing his balls because he has balls can't, ball cancer. But I was oh, like, I, thought, I remember you told me the story, but I thought balls? he was shaving it. Like, yeah, they were well, stunt balls. Okay. And, and so Connie, the whole thing was funny. Connie Britton just like, <laughs> she goes, he goes, do they look bigger than usual? She goes, I haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> um, so this is bullshit, and this is marketing. Mm. And it's good, it's working. I mean, because it, it you're right. It I mean, was sex so life, fast. Sex Life had that fucking, that elephant trunk yeah. was in Sex Life. They also had cuties, they also had, um, uh, fuck, I just threw a blank. The other one, um, I mean, they have a bunch of weird, like sex ones that are yeah. like really there's, there's like now. It's like the, they have an island one. Yeah. It's not F-Boy Island, but it's the other one. Yeah, there's some, yeah, yeah. There's some hot people on an island that. fuckers. There's, yeah, so like, come on with that. Netflix is doing, oh, they have the, like the one where the girl gets kidnapped. He, get, he kidnaps the girl and says in one year, if you want to leave, you can and it's called 365, and they just oh, fuck yeah, yeah, for a yeah. year, and it's like a Beauty and the Beast type thing where she like falls in love even though she's being kidnapped and sexually Stockholm assaulted. Stockholm. Yeah, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> so fuck off. I'm woke to this. Anna, I watched, Anna, 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 Anna Damers, by the way, number one in the world right now. She, dude, she's, I watched Knives Out last night. So, beautiful. So, yeah, she's so like good. cute. She's pretty. She's hot. Now, did you ever watch the Keanu one? The Keanu one. Keanu, Anna De Armas, and this other girl. I don't know who. Oh. Best worst movie in the world. Yeah. So Keanu is a dad. His wife and kids go away for the weekend, and Anna De Armas and her and this girl uh, like target him, and they go they roll up on his house. It's raining, and they're like, "Oh my God, the Uber didn't come, and like our phones are dead. Can we come inside?" And he's like, "Ah, I don't think it's a good idea. Like I'll just call you a cab." She's like, "Please, we just want to dry off." They come in and they proceed to like rape him. They have like, well, no, that's not true. At first they seduce him. They have a threesome, and then they start uh, like using it as blackmail. And eventually they end up coming back to his house and like tying him up and assaulting him more. It is wild what and fuck? so I've never bad. heard of this. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's. It, oh, knock, knock. Knock, knock. It's Keanu. I mean, think about Keanu Reeves and Anna De Armas today making a movie where there's a threesome in it. Like, <laughs> I don't know how Keanu did this movie. I don't know what, um, what, like, how, he must have, like, owed somebody a favor. When was it made? 2017, Recent? I want to say. Yeah. Um, so that's post. That's post. Uh, John Wick, 2015, right? Twenty fifteen. No, no. Twenty fifteen. That might not be post John Wick. Post what? John yeah, Wick. Because yeah, John yeah. John Wick was his big like comeback. I think. There's a scene. Let's see if I can find it. Because there's been three John Wicks already. Yeah, you're probably right. But they did two and three. There came was one quick. in 2014, okay. and that was the first one was in 2014. Watch this. Scene. But yeah, that's just reaction. Watch this scene. It was free fucking pizza! What does that even mean? 
Isn't that amazing? <laughs> That's the only part I've seen. Really? The only part I've seen is, it was free pizza. Free fucking like, pizza. They end up burying him up to his neck, and they threaten to smash his head with a tombstone. It is wild, How bro. strong are these two women? Yeah, yeah, pretty strong. So if Netflix can have that, they can definitely have this <laughs> Marilyn Monroe biopic. Biopic. How about yeah. people who say biopic? Def definitely. Yeah. Free up. Yeah. Strangle. Is that how you're supposed to say it? No. You're supposed to say uh. biopic because it's biographical picture or whatever, but some people are dumb. <laughs> um, uh, there's a couple other things. I mean, uh, LaGuardia Airport is, is charging, uh, got caught charging $28 for a Sam Summer Ale. They came out and said, oh, whoops, that was a, mis a misprint. It's actually only 18 bucks. It's, tw it's 23 ounces, so you get deal. two for one, basically. Um, okay, well, then, then an 18 is fine. 18 is fine. Yeah. 28 is it, for two is a lot, but in New York, at an airport where they got you by the balls, they could probably charge me 30. I was going to say, you like, it, like it, well, airport, what would be the number to stop you? Airport money it does, isn't real. Like, yeah. airports and vacation money time is just like, time it's not doesn't a thing. exist. Money doesn't exist. No. It's, Laws, rules don't right. exist. But what would stop you? Like, you 11, wouldn't pay $100. $11. Beer. No, $11 no, I wouldn't. $11 is your max? I, yeah, I don't. For a double beer? Even it's two even, beers. Even at Jaguar games, where, like, the guy's walking up and down, it's like $11 for, like, the 16 ounce or whatever. Don't do it. I, absolutely not. I just, it's just one of those in. That's your life. My, 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 dad, my dad's like, no, I'm, I'll pay it. I'm like, no, I don't even want you to spend your wow. money. You're a man <laughs> of honor. You're a man of principle. Of like, we yeah. got a new intern, Mikey Pabs. He says he doesn't pay fees for delivery. He's never gotten delivery. He's a young kid. He's like 21. He doesn't do any delivery because of delivery fees. Oh, that's like, yeah, what are you, I, a I fucking 500 yeah. year old grandpa? If, if it's like a, cl uh, a place that's just like a couple of miles from my house, I will, go. like, pizza. And stuff. Yeah, I'll definitely drive there um, to get a. I guess like it, that's that's the difference of like if we're talking suburbs, that's one thing. Talking in the city, oh yeah, I'll well, get it delivered here. from the place right below. Me. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, back, yeah. When I lived in Southie. Yeah. I used to get it. I lived uh, in, a, in a dilapidated. Which house. Which is the opposite, by the way. What you you think like the suburbs? You have to do for it. sure. You gotta drive. And the cities, when you should go get it, and you're but it's just but it's just the vibes. Yeah, and the, the vibes. Because <laughs> I have a it's car. Just the vibes. I have a car. <laughs> and, like, and like seamless isn't as good in the, yeah. in the suburbs, all that shit. It's but just the the vibes. It was like I'd have you're a guy. I, I lived right next to fucking teriyaki house, and I couldn't. I, I just wouldn't. I didn't want to go. Yeah. So I get it delivered, but they knew where my house was. So like the chef would just walk out the back door with it. It was literally the door next door. So he just walked. Like they, they but wouldn't they don't have care. People, I feel like people get uh, like, I embarrassed, but they're mm -hmm. like, it's easier for me. I don't have to go anywhere, yeah. and I get yeah. the money. And I, I, I tip, tip higher because I'm like, oh, I'm a I feel loser. Like an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. it's it's way easier. <laughs> I'm for a them. loser. This is my loser tip. <laughs> yeah. it's an extra five spot. Uh, another quick thing, uh, there was a bunch of brawls at the Astros-Dodgers game. I feel like Dodgers fans are the most violent group of people on the planet. Yeah. It's like, you know, the Latin Kings and Dodgers fans are just <laughs> fucking, and probably there's a big overlap, probably. Uh, they're just always fighting, and it was with the Astros. I feel like Astros uh, are, you know, the Astros are just... Everywhere you go, it's violence and hate and tension in the air, so... I, I actually I like respect... the fact that the Astros are good. I, 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 I respect kinda... the people who are sticking with it. They're still chanting <laughs> cheater and shit. Because yeah. I, yeah. I got off that boat pretty quick. Yeah. And, well, uh, and I never could really get on it because they ruined the Yankees. And that, I'm like, God, keep fucking doing it. <laughs> but like, if, if it happened to me, I'd hate them, but it happened to the Yankees, so I love it. Um, but yeah, even if I was passionate about it, I mean, come on. Do you think I'm going to fight someone in yeah. public? Yeah. Over, I, I, over I wouldn't something? fight anybody. You know, <laughs> I'm a complete stranger. Ba yeah. a baseball field? Right, like, let me ask you that. <laughs> what, uh, what would it take for you to fight a, a, a stranger in public? They would have to have cost me something. Like they, yeah, would, they would have. Yeah. To, they, they would have there to couldn't be, be any. They were trying to sell me a twelve dollar beer. <laughs> <laughs> there couldn't be any thing outside of what's happening in the moment at that stadium that you would fight somebody over, right? No, you know I, I, mean? I, I think my. I, we've talked about this before. Sometimes, like I think the only thing you could do is be like aggressive or assaulting a woman towards someone else. Like, about, like even I'll if you ask, punch I'll, me in the I'll face, ask. I'd probably be like, whatever, man. Yeah, I got punched by a bum not too long ago. Mm. I was walking uh, on the street over here, and it wasn't, like, even that crowded, but it was at a crosswalk in a corner, and I kind of, it was kind of like a little shuffle by, and he punched me right in the back of my vertebrae as I walked by. Pow! When I turned around, I was like, I had... I had a bag of McDonald's and my drink. And not like as if I, if I was fucking, you know, not like I was Some trying to right? that. <laughs> but, I, but yeah, I, I kind of turned, I was like, what the fuck, man? He was not there. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't like a dirty bum, but he was like a, you Clearly know. Clearly something's not right. And I, and I was just like, 
well, I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. what's the alternative? I put this down, it'll be square off. Yeah. The, best, yeah. Yeah, the, the best outcome is you walk away. <laughs> right, right. But but well, what would it, so, and he punched you in the, we, we, we did it on KFC Radio. Like, if that guy punched me in the face, I think I would be like, I think I'm just going to keep walking. Yeah. He's got nothing to live for. We're going to end up no. both getting arrested. Exactly. Uh, or he's going to stab me or something. Yeah. Do you want, I don't know what. Do you want to be right or do you want to be alive? Yeah. 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 Right, right. Or, you know, you know do I want a record? Do I, I, don't wanna, yeah. I don't want to get stuck yeah. with something, get Phys- any diseases yeah. he has. Yeah. Physical alterations only escalate until somebody outside stops it uh. usually. And so, yeah. like, it's just, it's never good. No. Particularly on the side, like, this happened in the middle of the street. On the side of the street, like, we had, I told that story when we were walking home from when the Bruins got eliminated and we had these three, like, asshole items. <laughs> Man's following yeah. us for like 20 minutes, just like putting their cameras in our faces. And I was like, I don't want to fucking fight because we're on the side of a highway. Mm-hmm. And like, so one of us are gonna, I'm either gonna end up dead or yeah, yeah. In charge, in charge of manslaughter. Like, this is not worth it. Well, Keep well, walking. You could have knocked those kids out, it would have been cool. Feidelberg is a one this, punch this, champ, bro. Yeah. It happened like one time. It happened a couple times. It happened a couple times. Don't be modest. Yeah. Imagine if, they, if the cops just found like three unconscious. Fucking uh, <laughs> Long Island douchebags and like what happened here? With yeah. Snapchat still running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and last thing, if anybody cares, Kemba to the Knicks. Um, I feel like Kemba. I said Kemba at the Garden is like Superman with the yellow sun. He becomes more powerful. I feel like that's got to be the only hope here for the I was Knicks. Say, those are two references I don't understand. <laughs> well, Kemba, you remember Kemba I know, the I know Garden, right? Okay, right. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, Superman gets all of his powers from the yellow sun. <laughs> that's why on Krypton yeah. he's just a normal cat. He came to Earth. The yellow sun gives him. Oh, superpowers. see, I never think of yellow sun. That's just the sun. That's I thought the, sun. the yellow sun was. Because <laughs> there's other suns, I guess. There's the green sun and the blue yeah, sun yeah. and other. Worlds, that makes sense. The the uh, can, you better hope he's better than he was on the Celtics. He was a bum so on the bad. Celtics. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> just, how much you. I know how excited you were, John. Oh my how, god! Every wow. time he stepped on the court, I was like, got. "Come on, Kemba!" Yeah. <laughs> I also know nobody cares about this, but last night was the uh, another versus on Instagram. It was the Locks versus Dipset. And uh, so, big New York event. It was at. Like, Are they the, both from New York? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was at the like the garden, uh, the theater in the garden. It wasn't like in the garden, the garden, but it was in like the theater. Oh, I think. okay. I didn't know that. So, big time New York event, and uh, and Jada Kiss was in the locks, put on the greatest versus performance of all time. He had more hits than you realize, so every song was good, and he was basically doing like a roast at the same time. And he was funny. Is and he, he was is, is it Jada who took off uh, Jewel's J- bandana? Jewel's bandana. Yes, yeah. took it off, threw it. He was got your, uh, man, got your bandana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was clowning. There's like a third member. Jada of has Dip one of my favorite that, rap line of all time. What's that? Don't say my car's top. Let's say the titties is, is out. out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Jada's unbelievable. He's got the laugh. He's so New York. He, part of the somebody said this should be his mayoral campaign because he was like, I don't. He got the raspy voice. I don't live in Miami. I don't live in Colorado. I'm in the streets. Come see me. <laughs> so, uh, and at one point he was clowning this like third member of of uh, Dipset. Who he didn't he couldn't remember the words of his own songs, and he was like he was yelling he's like you don't remember the lyrics dog, and at one point he said uh, you're the fat member of Drew Hill which is like an R and B gang and there was this one fat guy that nobody liked and it was like it was what verses Drew should, Hill was should be guy, right yes yeah okay. yes and there was one fat guy that was like what are you doing here, uh, but it was like a real battle, and at one point it started to escalate and everybody started to come on the stage because they thought it was like about to go down because it was getting like real personal. And then eventually they kind of shut it down and they started hugging each other and they were going, don't scare the white people. It's all good. We don't want to fuck up the money. Just get off the stage. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, if you like rap and you're from New York, uh, watch the rerun. It was unreal. And Jada Kiss just fucking... Did you see that video that's been going viral today, I guess, since after that, with the locks in an interview from a few years back, I believe, Mm -hmm. talking about they were on... It wasn't the red carpet. They were behind the red carpet, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. And, um, And Iron Mike was being real aggressive with Eve. Oh. And and he's and they were like they were, <laughs> it was funny. I they were using terminology that I don't understand. Like I think he said like he's like we all had to stick on us, which I think is a gun. Probably. Right? Stick, and like uh, stick you stab somebody but whatever. Okay, okay so sort of cuz then he uses another word which I I I learned means we we thought we were going to have to poke him. So uh-huh, he was talking uh-huh. about like they all he, he, I, I don't know the members, I don't know who's who, but the guy who was sitting in the middle they were like, we had made him the sacrificial lamb. Like, he was going to have to attack Iron Mike and just get knocked out. And the two of we us were going to have to roll up and poke him. 
<laughs> and he's like, he's like, but I don't know if you, you didn't use the word suspect. It was a few years ago, so he's like, well, you wouldn't say it's a little sus, but he's like, it was a little goofy or whatever. And they're like, I don't think so, man. It was it's prime Mike we're talking about. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And there were six of us talking about how to fight him. <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's like, a, like that's how you approach a gorilla. You know what I mean? Like you gotta take him out. We'll grab the legs. You gotta yeah. pin him down. It that's was, hilarious. It was, love, then, he's like, and eventually we just told Eve go home. <laughs> Just run. <laughs> just, just, just you just gotta get out of here. Like, we're not doing this. I love that terminology, though. I mean, that's probably the yeah, most, poke. like, that's probably poke. the cutest way to say stab somebody. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm gonna poke you. Yeah. I'm gonna poke you. Uh, all right. Anything else in here? Uh, there's big Rico Bosco drama on uh, oh. Dave Portnoy's show. So the riders are in shambles. Do you think Dave is a real rider? No. Uh, you had a great dozen moment. Oh, a horrible dozen moment, but great for the audience. It was... Uh, can we spoil it's, it? Is it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah, out yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was. Grinnell it's it's was his lifeline. And so just, people have been people have been tweeting me that it's my fault, which I disagree with because the well, audio it's is absolutely jumbled. your fault. Huh? It's absolutely. But your he fault. made a he made a request. Wait. So let me set the scene. Okay. Yeah, Fredelberg yeah. called uh, Grinnell as his lifeline. Uh, it was a hockey question. It was. Uh, yeah. It was who was drafted in 2016 uh, from Scottsdale, Arizona, to the Calgary Flames and made their first All Star appearance in 2020. So. Grinnell gets the, gets the recommendation wrong, and then Feidelberg leaves him on speaker. Because what gets jumbled is Grinnell went, wait, wait, so who was it then? So, my, and, so, so you were worried about just Grinnell getting to satisfy his curiosity. Yeah, just going to give him the answer. Because then Mike went, oh, no, no, wait, it's blah, blah, blah. It was Matthew and then, Kachuk. And then, it was, then they could steal, so Glennie was just like, oh, it's yeah, Kachuk. It's, <laughs> and, so, but I figured when he went, wait, wait, who was it then? That meant like, <laughs> hey, leave me on the line. I'm not going to keep shouting that's guesses. A, that's a lot to assume. John, how are you? Grinnell, what's up, big? I'm on the dozen. I got an NHL question. question. A, a top 10 pick by the Flames in 2016. Hailing from Scottsdale, Arizona. This weird moment happened for the first time in the Yes, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm going to say Sean Monahan. Sean Monahan. That's, that's it. Yep, I'm going by Glenny's reaction. It looks like yep. you got that one right. <laughs> We're going to go Sean Monahan. Final answer, please. Oh, no! No! Was that a fake out balls? <laughs> no, I thought it was shot about ahead. Um, you got anything, balls? Fuck me. Ten seconds. Wait, wait, it's Matthew Kachuk. <laughs> Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk. Final answer. All time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm running on phone. phone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I, he, cause he doesn't give a fuck about your team. He just wants people like I would just want people to know that I know the answer. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I don't care true. who's getting the point. Also, did that's he fair. know did you did did he know like Ant, you got it wrong? Yes. Okay. Yes. And oh. that's why he, that's when he went, wait, wait, who was it then? So And then he re, then he recalled it. So yeah. it is a little bit his fault, but ultimately it's like you're the team and you're the Yeah, I you should have hung up. I probably should have hung up, but I also I thought that we had a gentleman's agreement that we were done guessing. Well, it is funny as we're into like season two or three or whatever here of the dozen, it's like we now there's gonna be like the Feidelberg rule where it's like you hang up on your you hang up yeah. right when it's done because <laughs> I'll text you the answer later, but you right, can't yeah. you can't be sitting around here. Uh, so yeah, go watch the dozen and uh, check out Dave Porto's show if you're into the Rico Rider drama. And I'll see you tomorrow.